Hi guys and dolls, Divine Diva K here, and I am here to share with you my use up the stash. I haven't done a use up the stash hair video in a long time, so I just wanted to get these out of my bathroom and into the garbage where they belong. Today is garbage day and I've missed it, so they will go into tomorrow's garbage for the next week, but that's okay. They're out, of, they're out of my bathroom. So I'm just gonna randomly pull items out from inside the bag. This particular video is all about Curly Girl products, so if you're not interested in Curly Girl products, you can go on to the next video. First one out the bag is Elucience. It's a moisturizing balance and conditioner. I have had this, where did I buy this from? I, and I'm sorry, a lot of these are dirty. They've been in the bag for a while. I think I bought this from Curl Mart. And I bought it about a year ago. I mean, it took me a long time to go through this because I've actually been going through quite a few items um, that were in my refrigerator. So any of you who have been around for a while know about my infamous refrigerator with where I, have, I keep products because it just keeps it from going bad quickly. So I've had this, gotten down to the bottom, had water in it. Um, I like it. Um, I think I liked it a whole lot more initially in my Curly Girl when I first uh, went natural, which was about seven years ago, I think I liked it a whole lot more then. My hair liked it, but it's okay now. And some of, some of these I'm going to just throw, toss into the garbage if I, can, if I can make it that far. Okay, so I have a Shea Moisture Super Fruit Multivitamin Hair Mask with M... Of course, again, I don't have my glasses. Um, Emba Oil and Aloe. And this is to style and nourish wavy and curly hair. This one smells really good. I like the smell of this one. I, I also have the bath. They have like a bath gel and some other bath things with this. For my hair, I wouldn't say that I did anything fantastic. Um, it was on sale for like $3, $5, something like that. So it was, real, it was relatively cheap for a deep conditioner, so I said, well, you know, let me try it. Would I purchase it again? No, I wouldn't. It, it just, I like the smell, but it didn't do anything fantastic for me. Vatica Frosting. Love this. This is by Hair Veda. Absolutely love this. I'm Black Friday. This is going to be in my cart. So don't, don't any of you jump in before me. Um, this is... Coconut um, oil infused with Ayurvedic herbs. I love this. It smells fantastic. And I have had this for a long time. This was in, <laughs> this is one of the ones, things that were in my fridge for a long time uh, because it takes a long time to get through it, at least for me. I do the LOC liquid oil, liquid, I'm sorry, LCO, liquid cream oil is what I do. So this is good for that. Um, African Black Soap Purification Mask. You can't get this anymore. This is like gold. Um, I hunted all over the place to try to find this one. This is the tea tree oil and willow bark. Um, this is for dandruff, eczema, psoriasis, and, and psoriasis. Um, they don't make this anymore. They made some a dandruff version, but the dandruff version, if you read the ingredients, this one has clay in it, that one doesn't. So they've, I mean, they changed the ingredients, and so um, if I could buy it again, I would. I like it as a pre-poo, put it in my hair, put a plastic bag, you know, do some things around the house, and then um, start my wash day process. Absolutely love this. This would have been a holy grail if they continued to make it, but they don't, so I can't. My L Organics. Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk. Um, I think I got this at the Nat World Natural Hair Show two years ago, I think. I didn't go this year, so it's been two years ago. Um, eh. I mean, on my hair. Eh. Uh, would I purchase it again? Probably not. It really didn't do anything. I mean, I guess if I got it, if I saw it on sale, Target or, or um, Sally's had a really good sale on it, maybe I might pick it up. My hair really does like avocado oil. 
Um, but this didn't do anything. I mean, and I've tried a myriad of ways. Obviously not as a leave-in, it isn't doing anything for my hair. Um, as a refresher, I've put it in like my um, hibiscus tea rinse, uh, not rinse, well I use it as a rinse too, but um, I have like a hibiscus tea that I put together and I spray my hair with. Um, mm. As I am, coconut cream co-wash. I got two of these on sale. It's okay. It's all right. Um, and <laughs> um, I'm, there are probably tons of videos on this. It has coconut oil, castor oil, um, saw palmetto, tangerine. Yeah, it's a co-wash. Would I buy it again if I found it on sale? Yes. My hair kind of likes it. Then I have uh, Jacala Dope Deep Conditioner. I bought this from... Uh, I forgot the name of the store. It's not Curl Mart. I will annotate it somewhere. And um, this is a nice deep conditioner. This is a nice... This is a nice deep conditioner. It smells uh, herbally, fresh. It, it is, for me, moisturizing. I used it as a moisturizing deep conditioner, not as a protein deep conditioner. Um, so I really, it's, it says it's stimulating and hydrating. Yeah. There must be some sort of peppermint. I do smell a little bit of mint or some sort of mint in there. Purified water. Avocado oil, that's why I bought it. <laughs> that's why I bought it, because avocado oil. My hair loves avocado oil. Palm kernel oil, rice bran oil. Yeah, I don't know where the where the mint is coming in, but it's probably somewhere in there. But yes, I would repurchase this. Uh, Shea Moisture, Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Strengthen grow and restore styling lotion. This is the second time I've used this or, you know, purchased this. Would I repurchase it again? No. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. It's, it has shea, peppermint, and uh, keratin. I do like the shampoo. I haven't gotten through one full one yet, but I do like the shampoo. Um, but, and that takes forever because I don't use that much shampoo. I wouldn't buy this again. Myel Organics, Baba. Now, of course, I say it correctly all the time, but now I'm on camera, I can't say it. Baba Sue Oil Mint Deep Conditioner. I love this. This would be Holy Grail. One of these days, I am going to do a Holy Grail. I would repurchase this. It is fantastic. I use it as a. Oh, it smells oh, minty and delicious. I use this as a protein. Deep condition, I protein deep condition my hair once a month. So, I mean, one of these jars lasts a long time for me. Repair me, reconstruct. Oh, I take that back. I do it twice. I, I deep condition my hair twice a month. Repair me. This is a Curl Junkie reconstructive hair treatment. Definitely, if it was going to be a holy grail, and I do eventually want to make one of those videos. This would be definitely on there. This is my protein treatment that I do once a month. That other one I do every, maybe every other week or maybe every other month. But I definitely, I have a schedule where I know I'm going to do this. My hair loves this. It's not a hard, crunchy protein, neither is that one. But to me, this one's a little stronger uh, in terms of protein. And my hair loves this. It's pricey. <laughs> it's pricey. Curl Mart has a great sale. Actually, Curl Junkie has a great sale, too, on Black Friday. So I will probably go to one of those two places um, to get it. Okay, Shea Moisture. I have a lot of Shea Moisture. I've went through a lot of it. I haven't bought any lately, but I've been through a lot of it. Shea Moisture, a baobab and tea tree oil for low porosity, protein-free conditioner. Eh didn't do anything for me. I have low porosity hair and no. Didn't do anything great. I guess if I saw it on sale, 
you know, with all the social controversy with it. If I saw it on sale, I might pick it up, but eh. My own Organics again, Mint Almond Oil. This is for a healthy scalp. It's an oil. I like this. I liked it. I put it in my mixes, my oil mixes. I didn't really use it by itself. It's an oil. There are oils I like better, but if I saw this on sale, I'd definitely pick it up. <laughs> oh, Lace Natural. I don't, I, you know, somebody did tell me what the name of the new, her new store was, but this was back in the day when she was still Lace Natural. More moisture cream. <laughs> that tells you how old, how long this stuff has been in my, in, the, in that bag. Um, this is a nice, it's, it's moisturizing, nourishing, defining, and strengthening. I like this. It has, it's packed with Ayurvedic ingredients, water, slippery elm, sea kelp, horsetail, orange peel, marshmallow root, aloe leaf juice. My hair loves aloe. Um, BTMS. It just has a lot of good ingredients in it. I have not, I have, somebody did tell me the name of it, but I have not repurchased since the latest natural days. But this is, I think, the last of it. I gotta go back in my, my, I have to look in my fridge and see if I have any more of these, but this is the last of the one I think I have. That one didn't make it in. Curl, Curly Magic, Uncle Funky's, da Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic, Curl Simulator. Love this, this would be holy grail. I do have a video on this. And actually, if I have any videos on any of the ones that I've done, I will um, link them below. So this is that. Holy Grail would buy that again. Diva Curl. <laughs> this is so beat up. Diva Curl um, Low Poo. Definitely like this. It's just crazy pricey. My hair, my curls like it. If I could get this at a really good price, I don't know. I've never tried um, their Black Friday Friday sale to see if they have one, um, but if I could get it at a good price, I would buy this again. <sighs> Super look, wet line look. I got these. This was like a dollar at the dollar store. At the yeah Dollar Tree. Actually, very good in the summertime. Wouldn't use it in the winter time. I'm a wash and grow gal, so I use a lot of gel. Wouldn't use this in the winter time. I think it has glycerin in it. I think this one has glycerin in it. The other one does not. Is this the one? Yep. Yeah, glycerin is one, two, water, carbamere, and some other chemical, and then glycerin. So I would not use this in the winter time, but I would use this, in, I have used this in the summertime. Um, Blue Rose Beauty Chocolate Rose Hair Mask. Like this, actually, like this. I buy this from time to time. This is detangling, softening, and moisturizing. I use it as a deep conditioner. Um, if she, I think she also has a very good Black Friday sale, so I might splurge because I've gotten through a lot of my hair products. As you can see on videos, I really haven't been doing a lot of hauling of hair products, so I would repurchase that. Uh, VO5 Herbal Escapes Moisturizing Conditioner Free Me Freesia. Like this, good for uh, pre poos detangling um, before wash day. I used to be able to get these for like 77 cents or less, 50, I've even couponed and gotten for 50 cents, but lately I haven't seen a lot of good sales on it, so I don't have any more. I got through a giant mamma jamma of Eco Olive Oil Styling Gel. This takes forever to get through, but it's cheap, good price. Matt, Matt pairs with a lot of the things that I use, so and I can use this in the winter. I think I can use this in the winter because I don't think it has glycerin in it. It says it's alcohol free. Sorry. Um, it has water, carbamere, hydrolyzed wheat protein. Oh, it does have glycerin. Yeah, maybe I can't use this in the winter, but we'll see. I still have Uncle Funkies. 
Then I have um, Myel Organics Detangling Co-Wash for dry and curly. I did not like this. This is a no-buy for me. It did absolutely nothing, and I had to almost use the whole bottle. I don't have that much hair. I had to almost use the entire bottle in order to, to get anything, any cleansing out of it. So, no. Uh, Camille Rose Natural Curl Love Moisture Milk. I keep trying this, hoping that it's going to do something for me because so many people love it. It does absolutely nothing for me. This is rice. This is the rice milk and macadamia oil. Does nothing for me. The Nika Shea Egyptian Musk Wick Whipped Butter. Love this. This is um, virgin, unrefined, organic shea butter, distilled water, black seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil. This is really good. Nika Shea is really good. My only problem that I had with it was that it was a scent that I chose. It had nothing to do with <laughs> the, the product itself. It took me a long time to get through this because the scent is very strong. Um, I don't know what, what, what I thought Egyptian musk was going to smell like, but this is strong. So, But I love her products, so I would rebuy it. As I am, so much moisture, so not. <laughs> I um, This was a, a big fail. Um, this was a hydrating lotion, supposedly. It did absolutely nothing for my hair. It was a total waste of money. Uh, but I think I got, I got this on a buy one, get one half off or something. Or buy two, get one free or something like that. Um, Sunny Isle. Extra dark Jamaican black casserole. Love this. Put this in my oil mixes. Fantastic. And now that we're moving into winter, I'm going to be using a whole lot more oils. This is Annabelle. Annabelle's moisturizing leave-in conditioner. No. I, I've heard a lot. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Maybe my hair is just too low porosity. Maybe it's just too, hmm, I don't know. It just didn't work. Okay, most of them got in, two didn't. Um, this is uh, Jamaican, I mean, this is Tropic Isle living Jamaican black casserole with rosemary. So I, like, I want to try something with rosemary. Oh, this has a little bit left in there. I've got to get that out um, with rosemary. So... I'm not going to throw that one away because I think I can get something out of that. Um, this is here, Veda Jardine Conditioning and Softening Herbal herbal Hair Oil. Yeah, I got this at last year, Black Friday, so I've got, I got a good use out of it. Love it. Um, it's very, very good. It's a nice oil. Blue Rose Beauty Chocolate Rose Hair Mask. Oh, I got two of them. Yeah, I did two of them. So I must like it because I got two of them. This is a Thirsty Curls. It's in a trial that Target had. Mm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that. Doesn't do anything. Curl Keeper. Leave-in conditioner, absolutely not. Never purchased that ever again. It didn't do anything. My hair was dry within, within minutes of putting that on. And that is all I have. I want to thank all of you who have um, newly subscribed. Welcome to the family. And subscribing is something that's really easy. Just press the subscribe button down there. And if you are subscribed and you haven't clicked on the bell, then click on the bell because then you'll be notified when I do have upload something. For those of you who have been with me from the beginning, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And I will see you in the next video.